you do get to the other side. So this was kind of in late July when we finally uh, made it through the surge that we here, had here in New York City. And then shortly after that, I was done. Uh, and here I am now, I'm an attending, which means I'm the supervising doctor. And I, to be honest, as you can see here, I share my identity on my sleeve uh, because I think it's important for my patients to know who I am and who I uh, am here to help and how I'm here to help them. The most important journey is the journey between your head and your heart. Follow your heart. The doubts are what happens in your head. It doesn't seem like a long distance, right? I can do it like that. But man, that's a great distance. You always want to get into your own heart. Believe in yourself. It is so important. Sometimes it's, you know, knowing when to take a break, knowing when to ask for help. Um, even though all four of us are attendings, you know, you notice that um, we will talk with each other, you know, if we have questions about a something that's kind of beyond our own expertise, I think. Um, what can be really damaging is when you feel that everything's on you and don't feel that you can reach out. Um, I think it's really important in terms of connections with family or friends or whatever support network. That's also really important for your mental health. Have grace with yourself and know that it's not going to be easy, that you're going to feel stressed sometimes, that you're not always going to be able to do all the things you want to do. But with time, you, you begin to prioritize the things you really care about. You pick a few things that you are not willing to sacrifice and from there you kind of just learn to to make it work it's worth it to it, it really is worth it to explore those avenues of of what you like to do and don't 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 ever put yourself in a box this is not the time to do that i, I encourage you just act like you're at a buffet and just like sample everything i it, it can be really hard sometimes and sometimes it's also really scary to um, put yourself out there and, and ask questions, but don't be afraid to ask because asking is the way that you open doors for yourself. Just some things to always remember is like enjoy life in the moment because time really does go by. So my piece of advice to you all is work hard and have fun. You're meant to have fun. Don't let any grade or any exam or any dean or any mentor steer you away from your passion stick to it and you will achieve great things i think the very best of us are the ones who've uh, um, been able to overcome failure um, because we all will encounter them along the way and i want to share that i am a born and bred uh brooklynite i've never left new york city i went i was a product of step so i attended stepped in high school myself um, I went to a local community college, part of the CUNY system, um, and then I went to our local state school, medical school. And I just want to tell you that if you have a goal in mind, no matter what that is, and it's okay if it evolves and if it changes, is that um, stick to it. Have that resilience, okay? Um, you're, there's going to be challenges along the way. You were once all in your shoes. Um, and so if I can do it, then all of you can do it. I just want to stress that 100%. Um, and so I'm so, I, I just want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, it's been a very humbling and enlightening opportunity. Um, and I wish you guys all the best.